What's going on everybody? It's PokeSoup and today we're going to do a little little bit different video. It's going to be an eBay purchase. And this eBay purchase was a a binder of cards. I I wasn't sure what the entire binder can uh, contained. But I did see a few cards uh, in some of the pictures and I thought it was a a good a good risk. I felt like taking a gamble and decided I would go ahead and get someone's binder collection. This kind of a purchase is really interesting to me because you get an, a, a person's entire collection. You see what they, they kept, what they didn't. It's a pretty interesting concept to me. So, I already went through and picked out some of the special cards and we're going to do those last. But we're going to do a quick overview of what's left in the binder and just some of the cool cards that were uh, in here. Some of these pages aren't even attached, but we're just gonna go ahead and look at them. Uh, there are cards in here from Base Set, from the EX series. There's just, there are so many different sets of cards in here. There's Team Rocket, and Jungle, and Fossil, and Gym Heroes, and Challenge. And there's, there's cards from every old school set. I couldn't believe it. There's nothing from, uh, I don't think there's anything new in here. I don't even know if there's black and white. So this is actually a really cool uh, binder for me, like getting some of these old school cards. Not all of them are in great condition, but that's just part of buying someone's actual collection. They may have played with these cards at one point. But there's even first editions in here. There's just a little bit of everything, and I think that's pretty cool. And I still left some of the rares in here, so there's like a Snorlax from Jungle. There's a little bit, and then, you know, there's some even, there's some really cool Neo uh, cards in here. I don't really know what I'm going to do with these, but I will probably hold on to them as long as they're not in uh, the worst condition. And I will just, you know, kind of hold them on, hold on to them in my own little old school collection. There's lots and lots of energies. There's so many energies stacked in here. So, so many. And in the back here, there's actually some really old uh, Japanese cards, which I, I actually thought was pretty cool. I did not expect there to be Japanese cards in here. But you never know what you're going to get when you buy a lot like this. But, in the end, I did buy this collection, not for all those cool uncommons and commons and regular stuff. I bought it because of the cool things I saw in the pictures. And I've picked out some of the cooler stuff, and we're going to go ahead and look through them right now. And I do believe, okay, this is a Lugia from, I think, Holland Phantoms, maybe? But we do get some really cool EX Series Reverse Hollows, which I really love. And they're not in bad shape. These, some of these cards are in mint condition. While a lot of them are not, there there were a few. This one, this is a promo from, I don't know, it's 2006, Typhlosion. It's a Black Star promo 34. I think that's really cool, and it is, it is in really good shape. We have a Fossil Gengar. We have a Cloister from one of the e-reader sets. Butterfree? From, uh, I think that's EX uh, Fire Red Leaf Green, maybe. Same set here, a Ghastly and a Silcoon from uh, 2007. A Meowth promo GB stamped Game Boy. I think this was uh, it was included in a game and a Pikachu promo promo 12 from 2003. And we do have an Inte movie promo. A Heracross, uh, reverse, no, yeah, I believe that's a reverse. Professor Oak's research from uh, an e-reader set. A base set Venusaur. Oh, it's in rough shape, but it is still cool to get one of these. A Groudon EX, 2004. I believe this card is actually in pretty good shape. It's a beautiful card. Uh, I have a rare gym <laughs> stadium card. We have some uh, e-reader series cards that I just included in here because I thought they were cool. 
We do have Japanese hollows from the Japanese jungle set. I, this is one of the uh, gym uh, heroes or gym challenge. I don't really remember, but we do get some of these. Light Jolteon. <laughs> I picked it. I picked this one out because it was Jolteon and it was an evolution. A Cradilly Hollow Rare. Deoxys. I think that's uh, Reverse Hollow. Maybe I, I don't. I don't know. Uh, Septile Pop One. <laughs> that's a really cool card. The Machamp. Oh, uh, Mewtwo. I love this card, but it is in rough shape. It is in really rough shape. But I'm still glad that I at least have one. Mewtwo EX. Sneasel. Uh, Magikarp. Paris. Oh, that's the funniest looking art. Geodude. Rare Candy. Uh, Bill's Maintenance. Pokemon Reversal. Memory Berry. A Tyranitar Hollow. Oh, from uh, what Neo Destiny? That is so cool. A Gengar Hollow from Neo Destiny. If I have the Neo set wrong, I'm sorry, but trying uh we have aerodactyl from hollow and phantoms i recently pulled this exact card in a blister pack we have an aeron from crystal guardians another aeron from legend maker haunter from legend maker we have a wabafet from hollow and phantoms we have a fastball <laughs> we have a hollow muck from fossil dark celebi oh, i'm not sure of the exact set but i love this card a victory bell from jungle, which is pretty beat up. It has a big yeah, that, that's rough, but Still cool to get old-school hollows an electrode from jungle Celio's network Ow, this card is what got me to buy the lot this Gyarados from uh, Sky Ridge. Oh Man this this hollow is the prize of the whole thing to me. I love this card. It is beautiful. It's not in the best shape, but it's definitely not in the worst shape. So I'm really happy with this one. We have Chansey, Coughing, Dodrio. We have a Mew, Ancient Mew promo. Misty's Wish. <laughs> and we have an Espeon. Alakazam from base set. Oh, this, this had really, really interesting cards in it. A lot of them really weren't in the best shape. But I was still happy with it. It was so much fun to look through someone's collection and uh, find the cool cards. So I don't, I don't know. I'll be adding some of these to my collection binders, and some of them I'll be, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably add them to a collection binder that will just stay forever. Who knows? I think the main thing to take away from this is I had a lot of fun digging through someone's collection and just seeing, you know, what they got. And these were so old. These were. None of them were black and white in this uh, binder. So it was really cool to see a collection that had come from a whole different time period. So this video was something a little bit different, but I hope you enjoyed it. I might do some more of these in the future. Uh, little eBay purchase videos showing you what I picked up, what I'm interested in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave it a like if you did. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.